Aloha guys. Thought I'd give you a little tour of uh, what I'm calling home these days. So this is the top of uh, Big White. These things here, they're actually they're trees. We call them snow ghosts. So they're all encased in ice and snow. And this run that I'm gonna go down here, we call that the Enchanted Forest. So it's just a wide open glaze with all these snow, snow ghosts. Let me take you on a tour. So this is uh, sort of right in the heart of the Enchanted Forest area. You can see it's sort of, uh, you know, nothing groomed. You just sort of ski through the trees. Here, you don't come here on a foggy day because it's white on white. And that's like a little mini tree well, but sometimes these things can get like three or four feet deep. So you just got to come here on a day where you can actually see what's going on. So this is a typical, uh, you know, beginner intermediate run kind of thing groomed over there on the side most runs you got some great trees to ski through uh, over off in the distance there those lines that's the that's the terrain park so that snaky thing that's a that's a bank slalom course and then you got your rails and jumps and stuff like that uh, down there is sort of the village area uh, where you can ski through our the place we're staying at. Well, I'll show it to you later. It's just over through there And this is sort of the uh, geographical middle of the resort you, uh, you can't see the last Those sets of hills way off there. That's roughly where the last the most eastern uh, uh, Chairlift is So today's the Sunday. It's actually New Year's Day. Happy New Year's everyone. And this is kind of a typical lineup on a weekend. It can get a little bit longer than that. Midweek, I basically just uh, ski right on. Okay guys, so this is the uh, the cliff area. It's sort of a black diamond, double black diamond kind of stuff at the top. You can see it's fair, quite steep. Um, that's the chairlift down there with nobody there because uh, typically nobody sees skis here. That's Rhonda Lake. It's a source of water, and uh, in the summertime, it's quite pretty, but way too cold to, to ski. I'll take another shot so you can see this big bowl area. Later on, it's really quite pretty. All right, so this is the bowl area. You can see somebody coming down there. So all that stuff is that double black diamond kind of stuff where people are sort of jumping into and taking the shoots. Uh, this this actually gives you a fairly good idea of, of this you know the pitch a little bit that's not as steep as that stuff that stuff is super steep that's this is the east peak where they're hoping to put in another lift so you can access like right now the more adventurous they'll ski the top of that ridge down to that hike up to that in order to ski that to get down to the bottom. All right, so I'm getting close to the top of the uh, the cliff. Gives you a little bit better idea. So you can see over there, some guys have gone through the one of those shoot kind of things. Uh, I'll give you a better idea as to how the steep that this is. These guys are just about ready to drop in. Now, and down he goes. That gives you a bit of an idea. All right, so this is pretty much the tippy top of the resort. You can see, you know, if you want to get into some of these bowls here, people just uh, duck the rope, ski through those snow ghosts. Oh, way over there, that's the falcon chair. You can kind of, kind of see they got a whole lot of work to do. A whole lot of work to do knocking off the ice off the chairs on that thing. But this is one of my favorite areas to ski, just uh, it's fairly wide open. Lots of powder. So this is the white football area. You can see, I mean, it's in the afternoon, only a few people have gone down through here. Fairly wide open. Nice powder. So this is the uh, learning beginners area. You can see they're just sort of standing on a carpet. Oh, well, here, you can see it better. So this is the real beginners area. So this is called Happy Valley. So beginners area, you see guys sliding down the tube there. They walk, they uh, stand on that conveyor belt to go to the top and then they slide down. Uh, into the trees over there, that's where the cross-country skiing is. 
and the snowshoeing and the dog sled. What else? Snowmobile tours, uh, horse uh, sleigh ride kind of things. So th basically anything that's not skiing and snowboarding is, is down here. And then over here. So the skating rink complete with the Zamboni. This is the highest altitude uh, skating rink in North America. And uh, you can see that, you know, uh, lit at night. And this is the gondola. Or do you guys say gondola? That takes you up to the village. So you can see how it goes up the mountain there. It's going up the mountain right there. And as it disappears, uh, that's, that's the village. So it's just a people mover. This is the, uh, the parking lot for the day trippers. So they would park here, get on the gondola, and then uh, from the village you can get anywhere. So this is a village area. It's the top of the gondola, bunch of buildings, dining. This is, uh, so this is my job. I'm a snow host, so fancy word for a ski guide. So this is where we meet our guests and we ski them all over the mountain, show them, show them how to get around. Some more of the village. All right, so this is just a, another shot of the village. There's that clock tower thing. Just looking from the other direction, it continues on that way. And then I am staying just around the corner. So I just got to ski underneath this, uh, this, this road here. And this is, uh, this is the building. And this Happy is... Happy New Year! Happy New Year, everybody.